Pasteur talked about the bad bacteria, but Metchnikoff talked about the good bacteria. We are just understanding how we can balance that very complex microbiome in our GI tract to facilitate good health and longevity. Now there are occasions where that balance of microorganisms gets disrupted and we don't function as well. Many of the autoimmune diseases seem to be a result of imbalances of microorganisms and how they communicate with the immune system. It is a bit of a struggle for us to try to make sure that the complement of microbes we have is really working for us and, and helping us stay healthy. And what we're trying to learn is how when you ingest them, how they survive passage through the stomach and how they establish themselves in your gastrointestinal tract and actually communicate with your intestinal epithelium and with your immune system. But because bacteria have a reputation for causing disease, the idea of tossing down a few billion a day for your health might seem literally hard to swallow. Most people grow up thinking that microbes are germs and they're not healthy and they make you sick. In fact, bacteria can protect us against harmful germs. And germs, it seems, are everywhere. Without our good guy bacteria, our immune system wouldn't operate properly, we'd be much more susceptible to disease. Thousands of microbial species can dictate physiology, digestion, prevention against disease, can modulate the immune system. And when those balances are disrupted in one way or another, it can have major consequences on health and major consequences on physiology.